We're going to talk to you right now about prostate ultrasound with biopsy. And many of you, if you've been diagnosed with prostate cancer, that's how you've been diagnosed is with this ultrasound and biopsy. Now there's two indications for who gets a prostate ultrasound with biopsy. And those are typically guys that have an elevated PSA or an abnormal PSA blood test. Or if there's something palpated on the prostate that's abnormal, even with a normal PSA, you may be someone that has a prostate ultrasound with biopsy. So in talking about the prostate ultrasound with biopsy, it's typically done on the patient's lateral side. An ultrasound probe is placed into the rectum. And the goal of that ultrasound probe is to visualize the prostate. Visualize not only the prostate, but also where the needles go and where the biopsies are taken. Now, with regular ultrasound, which is done in most urologists' office, you're not necessarily going to see prostate cancer lesions that are suspicious for cancer. And that's what makes the, the routine prostate ultrasound biopsy, it's essentially a random biopsy where you are, you are placing needles into the prostate in a random manner, really trying to find these cancers. Now there is MRI guided technology, newer technology that's out. MRI is able to find prostate cancer lesions. And those images can be fused into software that are then able to be used with the ultrasound to target these lesions. But unless you've had an MRI, you've typically had this random ultrasound biopsy. So when you look at your prostate cancer biopsy report, samples are taken on the right and on the left. And typically six samples are taken on each side. Now these samples look like little worm pieces. And this is what I often draw for my patients. Worm pieces of tissue like this. Prostate cancer cores, these are, these, each one of these samples is called a core. And what the pathologist will do is he will stain these cores and then look at them under the, under the microscope for presence of cancer. Now, if there's cancer present, the pathologist will then grade the cancer and the grading system for prostate cancer is what's called the Gleason score. And this Gleason score translates essentially into the aggressiveness of cancer, the aggressiveness of that prostate cancer spell, cell. Um, and, and it tells you again, just simply how aggressive the cancer is. This is a number that ranges between 6 and 10. And there's two different numbers for the Gleason score. The first number is the Gleason score that has the highest amount of cancer present. So um, if, if there is more Gleason grade 4, that's the first number. And the second number is, is the secondary type of cancer or the less common type of cancer that's present. So if there's, if it, in this situation, it could be a four plus three, it could be a three plus three, it could be a three plus four, it could be four plus five. There's two different numbers that are added up to come up with a total Gleason score. And again, the goal of that Gleason score is just to tell you the aggressiveness of cancer. The second thing the biopsy will show you is the amount of cancer that's present on the, on the biopsy. So the pathologist will look at these specimens and he will, he will say how much cancer is present in these specimens. So on this, this here that I've drawn, three out of six specimens show cancer. And then he would also say that 30% of one core is positive for cancer. But you want to translate that into an overall volume of cancer, or how much cancer is present. Um, is it less than 10% of the specimen being cancer? Is there 10 to 50% 
of the specimen being cancer or is there greater than 50% of the specimen being cancer? And again, that just shows you the volume of the cancer or the amount of cancer. In a biopsy that had one out of 12 cores positive, you would expect there to be a smaller cancer. In someone that had 10 out of 12 or 12 out of 12 cancers, uh, specimens positive, you would expect that entire prostate to be cancerous. So again, it just translates into volume of cancer. The third thing the biopsy will show is, is it a right-sided cancer, a left-sided cancer, or is the disease bilateral? Prostate cancer is often multifocal, meaning when it's in one part of the prostate, it can often be found in other parts of the prostate as well. So um, it's important to know um, not only the Gleason score, the volume of cancer, but also is it on both sides or one side of the prostate. So that's prostate ultrasound in a nutshell. Um, the basics that you need to understand. Um, we'll talk more about Gleason score um, in, 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 in allowing you to help you understand your specific prostate cancer and how that can translate into potential treatment options you may decide to have. One of the important things to know when you talk about prostate ultrasound biopsy is that it often does not correlate with what is found in the actual surgical specimen. And that happens for a number of different reasons. One is, is that this biopsy is often just a random sampling and cancers can be missed in anywhere between 30 and 40% of patients. So, so the amount of cancer, the grade of cancer can be underestimated often in, in many situations. So the biopsy may not correlate with once that prostate comes out and you're able to actually look at the cancer and, and examine the cancer, this biopsy may not correlate with that surgical specimen. So it's important to know that, that this is usually just a, it's an estimation of the Gleason score. It's an estimation of the volume and the laterality because newer findings can be found certainly on a, a, a surgical specimen once the prostate is removed. So when talking about imaging for the prostate, one of the newer technologies is MRI of the prostate. MRI is able to visualize lesions in the prostate that are not seen with ultrasound by itself. So in, in the situation of a random prostate ultrasound biopsy, this is a typical template that would be done and these tick marks would be the random sampling where the, the image or where the biopsy needle would be placed to find cancer. Now, it's possible to have a cancer in between these areas that would not be included on the biopsy. And that's where MRI can come in. MRI can see this lesion it can be fused to an MRI or to, to prostate ultrasound. And then this lesion can actually be targeted and biopsied to find out if it's cancer. So MRI fusion biopsy is a newer technology. It's, it's been out probably for four or five years now. And it's becoming more standard as far as diagnosis of prostate cancer visualizing prostate cancer and, and allowing for better preparation in, in staging of patients with prostate cancer.